What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Brittany Renner. Uh, Brittany Renner was on, I believe, in a podcast or an interview uh, with a YouTuber, I believe, by the name of Anton Daniels. And there was a clip of that that went viral on World Star. And it is of her speaking about are there going to be men courageous enough to wife her up because we all know britney renner doesn't seem to be the um or have the most potential to be a wife or even a long-term girlfriend and she's been struggling in that department now i want people to understand something before we get into this clip she's not talking about the majority of men she is talking about these athletes and rappers right because i'm pretty sure there are plenty of guys out there who 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 would naively date her right but the men that she wants aren't a lot of these guys who are athletes and rappers they steer clear of her and she knows that this is why she goes on she's been on a podcast tour for the last couple of months i mean she's on this podcast that podcast this interview that interview maybe one day i'll even interview her <laughs> that's listen this is where we're going with it because she's been going to just about anybody's platform to talk to them because she wants to explain to them how there's nothing wrong with her and who's gonna have the courage to wife her up i will say this about britney I don't think Britney should be talking about being wifed up if she doesn't believe that she's ready to be wifed up because there are women out here who are not ready to be wifed up. And she's one of them, even though she's now 30. I still don't think she's there yet. A lot of these women think they're going to be beautiful forever. They think they're going to have options forever. But you have to understand there's other women out here who are going to get the attention of the men you want. You wrote a book. You promoted that book by basically talking about all these guys that you've been with. And that was that was like a couple of years ago. And they see how you got with P.J. Washington, how that was a disaster. You had a kid with him. You basically was dating him since he was in college. He would say you were grooming. And that was a disaster. And there's a lot of these guys that don't want any parts of that, Brittany. And no, these guys are not going to have the courage to wife you up because they don't see you as wife material. They don't. There was a tweet that somebody sent me where she responded by, you know, she was at the, the L.A. Rams game. and She was scouting, right, about hooking up with them. And she was like, condom of no condom. Like, that type of mentality is why people see Brittany Renner the way that they do. Okay? And... That is the narrative she put out there. She promoted herself. She she enjoyed the attention that she got from leaning into her slorism. And now she is, I believe, regretting it. And she wants to shame you males into believing that she's wife material. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. So let's get into this clip of you know this interview that she did. As I told you before, it's uh, 46 seconds long and we're going to get into it. All right. But make sure y'all like this video to have the courage to love unapologetically to tune out all of that noise she's a whore she's gonna use you you're such a simp you're who as a man and you know i've fucked i've told you uh, 30 people doesn't matter if it's 30 or 300 i've said certain things well she's saying that she she hasn't really gotten with that many guys Brittany, come on man <laughs> When a woman gives you a number about how many guys she's been with, you can probably multiply that by three. Okay, uh, a lot of these women are extremely promiscuous, and they're out here screwing a bunch. Of, there are guys that they've screwed that they probably forgot because they were either drunk or they want to forget. When you build this image of yourself as being a thought, men are not going to wife you, Brittany. Because you built this image of yourself on your own. So you can't shame men for not wanting to wife you. This is what you've done. You've put this image of yourself out here. This is what you want people to believe of you. So 
when men back away, especially because the men that she wants are athletes and rappers. She has no interest in your, your average everyday guy, no matter how good of a job he has, educated he is, or even if she's attracted to him physically, if he's not famous, she wants nothing to do with him. A lot of these women are addicted to famous men. Publicly, that I'm going to stand on. What man is going to feel secure enough to date me, feel good enough to be my man, to not feel inadequate and want to talk to other men? It's so multi-layered to where it's like, it's not, people think it's a someone in the industry or not. They think it's that simple. It's not. Well, I, I will say that once again, there's going to be a lot of women like Brittany Renner years to come because there's a lot of young girls following in her footsteps but they're doing worse you got girls that are barely out of their teens and they have only fans they're highly promiscuous they probably done slept with you know more than i would say 20 30 men by the time they are 20 uh these young girls are out and they are uh attention seeking posting thirst traps a lot of them are baby mamas they are putting themselves so far behind. It is ridiculous. And again, people want to act like men are the ones who are uh, shaming these women. But these women do this to themselves. Why are you on podcasts saying that you want a man that has the courage to wife you up? You as a woman should never have to say that. You as a woman should never have to ask the question, why won't a man wife me up? You should never have to ask yourself that question. You ask yourself that question because you know why those men won't wife you up. They won't wife you up because you are not wife material. You have side chick energy. A lot of these Western women have side chick energy. Gen Z women, millennial women definitely have a whole lot of side chick energy. I mean, most of the side chicks nowadays are probably millennials. Okay. I mean, that's just how undateable a lot of them are. They are a ruined generation of women. And Gen Z are not far behind. They're not far behind at all. When I see Instagram, man, you know how they have like the explore page on Instagram. And they have these random pages and you may click on one. You go to their profile. They're like 20, 19, 21. And they're all posting the same picture. No, similar to this right here. That's why I'm showing it. All showing their assets. You know, all most of them got OnlyFans. Most of them are thirst trapping because that's what they see other women do. So as soon as they turn 18, they turning it up when they really don't even have to. And they are devaluing themselves. Now, let's take a look at this uh, this video again. You're going to take a look at it again. Who's going to have the courage to love unapologetically to tune out all of that noise she's a whore she's gonna use you you're such a simp you're who as a man and you know i've fucked i've told you uh, 30 people doesn't matter if it's 30 or 300 she says she effed 30 people i don't think she believes that you could tell she didn't believe that women will always not tell you the truth you know, most of these women are liars, and I tell y'all this. Most of these Western women, like Brittany Renner, they're liars. Again, I have nothing against Brittany Renner at all, but I'm just speaking the truth. She has displayed some dysfunctional behavior, and yes, I'm going to call it out. You don't like it, so what? She's the one who did this to herself. Nobody created this narrative around Brittany Renner. She did it to herself, but that's where you got to have accountability, Brittany. You have to have accountability, you know, what we see is what we get. And I truly believe that that's what's going on with Brittany Renner. What you see with Brittany Renner is what you get from Brittany Renner. And she doesn't like that. She doesn't like the fact that men are more self-aware now than ever before. And no, they're not going to be walking around holding hands with a, you know, with a woman who leans into side chick, being a side chick, who's already a baby mother, who wrote a book about her adventures with men in the industry. Like a lot of these guys don't want to have to deal with it. They don't want to have to get mocked by their friends. Like, damn, like you could have done way better than this. And and the thing is, this should be cautionary for a lot of these women. Don't follow in these women's footsteps. I've said certain things publicly that 
that I'm going to stand on? What man is going to feel secure enough oh. to date me, feel good enough to be my man, to not feel inadequate and want to talk to other men? It's so multi-layered. To well, let me tell you something. You know why those men are going to talk to other women, Brittany? It's because you're not, there's something that you're not bringing to that relationship. You're dating an NBA player, a young NBA player. You don't think that there's a chance he could cheat? Even though, according, you know, when that whole thing happened with P.J. Washington, I didn't hear anything about him cheating that I know of. She might have said something after the fact, but I'm noticing more and more of these breakups. A lot of these women are not talking about these guys cheating. Have y'all noticed that? So if he's not cheating with all these different women, that means he's only dealing with you. That you know it, right? So what else is causing the relationship to break up? You're saying you want a guy that's secure, that's going to you know, be okay being with you and not dealing with other women. But what happens when they're not? What else is causing the relationship to fall apart? Where it's like, it's not, people think it's a someone in the industry or not. They think it's that simple. It's not. But I don't, I don't think she wants anybody that's not in the industry. I don't, I don't think she wants somebody that's that's a non-celebrity. Brittany Renner is like most of these women these days. They want celebrity men. And they will waste years of their life chasing men who are rappers and athletes because that's what they are accustomed to. Once you get accustomed to dealing with a certain type of male, you don't want to deviate from that. You'll deviate from that when you realize that it's not going to work out. Nicki Minaj did that. She was dealing with, well, she dealt with, I would say, certain celebrity guys because she was with Safari, then she dated some celebrity guys, and then she started to date the guy she was with, right? But most of these other women, like the Instagram models, so that once they get a taste of dating famous men, they don't want to leave that because they're going to think that's a downgrade. And these women care about how others are going to feel about their relationships and who they are with, even though she wants men to not care about, the, about, about who she is, right? Or how she's betrayed or uh, portrayed. I just think ultimately it's up to Brittany Renner to remedy her situation. Going on these podcasts, ex, you know, explaining, I don't know if that's the move, but do what you do what you want to do, all right? Like I say, maybe one day we're having conversations. And listen, I'm open to talking to people you know, that I've spoken about before. It's nothing. I have no issue with that because I have no issue with Brittany Renner. You know, hopefully Brittany Renner is able to find some happiness in her life and she's not chasing that fame carrot that most of these women waste years of their life chasing. So let me see in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.